Hello, everyone, and welcome to the WordPress Briefing, the podcast where you can catch quick explanations of the ideas behind the WordPress open source project, some insight into the community that supports it, and get a small list of big things coming up in the next two weeks. I'm your host, Josefa hayden Champosi. Here we go. We wrapped up State of the Word earlier this month, and while I was sitting there, being the only person to clap for the love of cake, (laughs) I realized just how much we have been able to accomplish this year. And on the one hand, I shouldn't be surprised. After all, progress is radical over time, yet incremental in time. But all told, 2023 has been a big year for WordPress. There's been some radical progress in a few places. There are the things you know, because you've heard them all year. You heard them in State of the Word. (laughs) We turned 20, for instance. We shipped three on-time releases. We had three well-organized flagship events. And we prototyped essential parts of Phase 3. But there's a lot of work that happens outside of flagship events and software releases. And I'd like to highlight a few examples of operational excellence in our community and ecosystem. First highlight goes to the contributors who are building community. Going back to 2021, we've been working to bring people back together in person, and in that year, we had 19 events. In 2022, we had 24 events, so a modest increase of just over 30%. But then, in 2023, the WordPress community banded together on a campaign to reignite passion in our meetup groups and encourage playfulness in our WordCamp planning. And not only did we see a 57% increase in active meetup groups, but we also saw a 116% increase in WordCamps, 54 WordCamps in all. That's about a third of the way to our all-time annual high of 142. And to complement these in-person opportunities, Learn also shipped 104 pieces of new content and hosted 258 online workshops, because location should never be a barrier to entry for joining WordPress. Second highlight goes to the contributors who are managing our directories. We do have a lot of directories. We have plugins, themes, photos, block plugins. We got a lot. Uh, And I'm sure that everyone saw the consistent and borderline pleading calls to join the plugin team this year. And for folks who've been around a bit, you probably recall a similar set of consistent and pleading calls to join the theme team a few years back. Concurrent with the work to refill that contribution pipeline, folks over in Meta and across the project generally were working on automating as many checks as possible, loosening guidelines where it was reasonable, and modernizing as many processes as we could. I'm happy to share that the theme wait time is at a historic low, with their longest waits sometimes just at a week. And as anxious as I am about the plug-in wait times, we're actually seeing a lot of progress there as well. As we follow a process similar to the one that we did on themes, I imagine it's only going to get better. So in 2023, we've onboarded six new team members. And since September, the number of plugins awaiting initial review has been cut in half. And then coming up in Q1 of 2024, we'll have a project focused entirely on automating as many checks as possible. So I still need you, but I also need you to know that your work there matters and is having an impact. The third highlight goes to the contributors who are doing outreach. This year, we launched a mentorship program with an 89% completion rate because we've seen time and again that our most prolific contributors had someone at the start that they felt safe asking dumb questions with. We launched and nurtured the developer blog, which was a need identified by the community because there was no place for intermediate and advanced developers to get excited about their cool explorations. And there were 53 posts there this year with 13,000 views, which is a a 251% increase for the record, which is a ridiculous increase, but it's a lot. 13,000 views is a lot. (laughs) We have focused on documentation, as we suggested in Porto 2022. And marketing, I know not always our favorite topic, but marketing, our ability to talk about ourselves to more than just ourselves has increased dramatically this year. Not only have we started rolling out a modern design across our website, but we also are present and engaged on eight different platforms with 20 plus episodes of this very podcast and also video content that netted us seven and a half million views this year. That's a lot of numbers. There's a post that goes with it. 
check out the show notes. But if you're not going to check out the show notes because you listen to this on Pocket Casts or Google or something, go to make.wordpress.org slash project and it'll be over there. (laughs) But the point is, it's been a banner year for the software and I am grateful for every tester, designer and developer that showed up for it. But I also know that what makes WordPress truly irreplaceable is our ecosystem and its contributions like this and the contributors who do them that make our ecosystem vibrant and responsive and thriving on into the future. So thank you all for the contributions you make to WordPress. Thank you for the shining example of how to do open source at scale. And thank you for another great year together. Which brings us now to our small list of big things. It is indeed a small list this time. First up, I would like to introduce our enhanced content safety features on Openverse. By default, search results now exclude openly licensed media containing sensitive textual content, uh, but this new feature adds additional filtering based on titles, tags, and descriptions of the work as well. The second thing on our small list of big things is that there is just a general alert. There's a WordPress security team impersonation scam that's going on out there. The team is aware of multiple ongoing phishing scams impersonating both the WordPress team and the WordPress security team in an attempt to convince administrators to install a plugin on their website, which contains malware. I'll include a link to that post just in case you have anyone that you think might need to be aware of that, but also all of our site administrators know. Like WordPress is not going to email you asking for passwords or anything ever. And item number three, I would like you to join the plugin review team. I know I just said it <laughs> in the body of the of the episode, um, but the plugin review team is looking for new members still who believe in our mission of guiding plugin authors in responsibly transforming their innovative ideas into reality and ensuring a great WordPress plugin experience for end users. There is a deadline to apply. It's December 31st. And so um, you can get that done over the holidays, over the glass of eggnog if that's how you choose to celebrate whatever it is that you do and that's it for your small list of big things don't forget to follow us on your favorite podcast app or subscribe directly on wordpress.org news you'll get a friendly reminder whenever there's a new episode if you liked what you heard today share it with a fellow wordpresser or if you had questions about what you heard you can share those with me at wpbriefing at wordpress.org i'm your host josepha hayden champosi i'll see you again in a couple of weeks <laughs>